Okay guys, this is a tutorial on uh, fresh starting your Kodi on whatever device you have, whether it's a computer, Apple TV, Fire Stick, doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to clean start your Kodi that you have installed. This is not going to wipe out Kodi, it's just going to make it brand new again. Uh, get out all the errors, anything like that, and then uh, tutorial on how to download the newest version of uh, Big Perm, and uh, we'll go from there. So first, launch your Kodi. Um, right now, the uh, build that you're probably on uh, doesn't have, or it has uh, Echo. Uh, Echo now has changed, and it's now part of Indigo or TV add-ons. So this is actually not working right now. Um, so that's one error that you would be having. Another error is uh, film on. Uh, that's kind of a dead link at the moment. So I've cleaned that out on the new build, which we'll be installing shortly. Um, and there's a couple other links in here that I've refreshed. Music festivals is gone, music source. Uh, concerts, music, music channels, so those I've all uh, got rid of and uh, updated all the add-ons, so all the add-ons are currently updated properly uh, from the back end. And then uh, got rid of all these as well uh, and then revised them with Indigo's new stuff. Um, Without further ado, let's uh, get started on making this build go away and getting you the brand new one. And you can do this at any time because I'm always updating the build every week. So uh, you know, if you want a fresh start, then you got to, then you can do this. Now, the only thing is, is that if you put in your Track TV or your Reel to Bridge, you do have to reinstall those, uh, which is pretty simple. You can follow my other tutorial on how to do that. Um, and uh, let's get it done. So what you need to do is you need to go to System, Add-ons, Install from Repository, and you're going to go down to TV Add-ons, Repository, go down to Program Add-ons, and then you're going to Fresh Start. Uh, so this is going to wipe out your Kodi and put it back to normal. So once you click it, so when you get past this part, you're committing. Okay, open it up. Do I want to make it default settings? Yes. So now it's clearing out all the add-ons all the configurations, all the settings, everything. It is pretty much a brand new Kodi now. Um, so to make this change officially happen, you have to exit Kodi right out. So on computers, you're gonna quit. On uh, Apple TVs, you're gonna access the Apple menu and then double tap the TV button and then swipe up to get rid of the uh, the actual Kodi itself, or you can just turn off all your devices, which takes longer, but that's officially getting them to restart. Um, so as you can see, the background's already gone, so it doesn't have any images or anything like that. And then when I go back into Kodi, it's now brand new, fresh start. So if I go into add-ons, there's nothing in here. Uh, my add-ons, nothing in here. So, I'm just going to video add-ons. Well, there is no video add-ons because there's nothing in there. So, this just shows you that it's a brand new, fresh install. Um, you might need to do con some configurations uh, depending on uh, what device you're using. So, you might want to go into settings, uh, system settings, and then the best thing to do at first is just to go down to standard and make it an expert. Um, into display and then you can go down to video calibration and you can make it so that it fits your screen so you see the top blue arrow I'm 
moving it around to fit my screen properly. And then the bottom, but I'm on a computer so it fits it right off the bat. Audio, if you're running off TV speakers, you're gonna do 2.0. If you're running off an amplifier or 5.1 system, 7.1 system, then you're gonna click that. I'm doing a 5.1 system. And then I'm allowing to pass through to my audio receiver. And my receiver is DTS capable. I hate these sounds, so I get rid of them so you don't hear anything. Um, and that's about it. Oh, you got to go to add-ons and then unknown sources. This allows you to install my build. Back out. You want to go to skin settings. Nope. Interface settings, regional. You want to switch this to USA or Canada or wherever you're from. I'm from Canada. Okay. And uh, now we're going to install the build. So what you do now is you go to settings, file manager, add a source. The source you're going to add, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Okay, that's my build, big perm. There it is. So now to install the build, you're gonna back out, back out again, go down to add-ons. You're gonna go up to this little box up here. Install from zip, big perm. And then click download this wizard. This is always gonna be the newest, latest wizard or build. Okay, big perms. The wizard now is installed. Now what you want to do is you want to install it. So you're going to install from that repository we just did. Go to programs. Oops, sorry. Back out. My add-ons. Video add-ons. There you go. Then you're going to open it up and click. Now it's downloading the wizard. So this is downloading the latest version. So obviously depending on your network speed, I'm running about 100 megabytes per second. So this should only take maybe a minute. If you're running 60 megabytes, 30 megabytes per second, then uh, um, it'll take a little bit longer. If it does fail, uh, just click it again, download it again, uh, download the wizard and uh, it, it'll eventually go through. So sometimes there's some errors on the server side. Then again, to run any build, whether it's mine or anybody else's, uh, you know, I highly recommend uh, using Trap.tv and highly, highly, highly recommend using Real to Brid. Um, for my personal, I also use a Luk or a Luck or whatever that streaming service is called. Okay, so hit OK, hit OK. So it's force closed. So as you can see, it's not open. Uh, I would then again force close your Apple TV or force close your uh, Fire Stick or whatever you're using uh, and open it back up. And here's the new build. If the build for some reason didn't show up automatically like mine just did, uh, then all you need to go do is get into settings, go to interface settings, which is interface, it'll look a little bit different on the other one, and then go to skin and change it from estuary to Eonux. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the newest build. Uh, this is the cleanest one now. It's it's uh, fairly small for how much stuff is in here. It's fairly small. It's 209 megabytes, so it should run on pretty much every device. Um, the uh, you'll notice that Echo's gone, and now I've put in Indigo. Uh, Indigo gives you the ability to do clear cache, purge packages, and speed test. So if you hit the speed test, you know I'll use the largest size. So just doing a uh, kind of like a Ookla speed test for you, uh, lets you know exactly uh, what type of movies you can stream and stuff. So I have a 10 out of 10 because I'm running 62 megabytes per second at the moment. And, uh, and then there's clear cache you should do on a weekly basis, purge packages, do on a weekly basis. And then I've made it so fresh start is easy to access. Do not ever touch that unless you want to do exactly what you just did. Um, so this is uh, just an easy way to take everything back out and put everything back in again if you want the newest and the latest and greatest. Um, so music, I've taken out some music sources. These are the ones that definitely work. Uh, you got your movies, TV shows. So right now, you're not going to see any TV shows in here because I don't have my track TV installed in here. Then again, refer to my earlier video on track TV on how to install it, and it'll show you how to put all your TV shows in there. Um, all the sports work, Canadian sports work, uh, world sports, I took out the ones that don't work. Uh, all the cartoons work. Man Cave, uh, sports films, YouTube, documentaries, everything's in here. If you click on Man Cave, it's going to give you anything that has to do with men, so Super Bowl commercials, Complex, Esquire, uh, GQ, King, Maxim, Men's Fitness, Health, Journal, Muscle and Fitness, Playboy, Smooth, um, so it's all got it in there for you. Uh, all this works, this is all female stuff, Phoenix, and then back to System and uh, Indigo. So if you actually click in Indigo, so you got Config Wizard, Add-on Installer, um, you know, use these at your own discretion. You will be adding things that will be slowing the ad, the, the build down. So if you do like live TV or anything like that, just keep in mind it will slow things down. Um, I don't know if I'd click on Rejuvenate or Factory Restore. Those are things that are going to definitely screw up. Um, but yeah, that gives you an idea on uh, the newest build. I'll uh, quickly show you just how to do a track TV just so you can uh, put your stuff in there. I'll just do one um, to make it so that it shows up here properly. So. To do track talk TV, so as you can see, there's no TV shows, whether it's that little box up top or the TV shows tab right here. Um, these ones down here will work because I had them linked specifically to new TV shows and stuff. But let's uh, get track talk TV in here. So if you don't want to sign up for track talk TV or anything, uh, really simple. All you need to do is go to add ons. Or sorry, system, skin settings, setup, and then go down to TV shows. And then you can change this plugin right here. Go to add on or go to add on, video add on. Always pick Exodus. Especially now that they're with TV add-ons.ag, uh, the best add-on for sure for TVs and movies. Um, click on TV shows and then click on whichever you want to put in here, airing today or whatever. And then create menu item here. So now that menu item is there. 
So to change it to airing today, I always, just to make it easy for the menu, put TV shows. And then if you back out, there's your TV shows. And here's everything airing today. Right, so that's a way to do it without your TV shows, but I find it much more personal if you uh, put your own TV shows in there with Track.TV. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So if you want to do the Track.TV, uh, follow my other tutorial and that'll tell you how to do it. Uh, put all that stuff in there for you. All right. Thank you. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like the video.